The Expedition user interface streamlines the design process with context-sensitive action keys and mouse interaction. When an object is selected, frequently accessed functionality is readily available with a mouse or keyboard click, reducing overall design time and increasing individual productivity. When multiple objects are selected, they may be acted upon as a group or individually, allowing the desired results in optimal time. The action keys along the bottom of the screen can be activated by the mouse or from the keyboard. When nothing is selected, the action keys provide access to the most frequently used design functions, such as Move, where objects may be selected and relocated. A click of the right mouse button also provides access to frequently used commands, allowing flexibility in how actions are activated. A right mouse click on top of an object, however, provides actions that are relevant for the object beneath the cursor. We also can see that the action keys now reflect commands for the selected object type. The interface even recognizes details such as whether a part is protected or not, disabling actions that are not relevant for the given object. The intelligence added to the user interface streamlines the design process and eliminates unnecessary clutter. When multiple objects are selected, they may be acted upon as a group or individually. For example, these two parts will be rotated individually, which means each part will rotate 180 degrees about its own origin. Of course, multiple objects may be moved, rotated, or pushed as a group as well, acting upon the entire group as a collection. A right-click on a trace provides typical actions for traces, such as changing the layer, width, or adding tuning to accommodate delay requirements. Right-click on a via, and options such as adding teardrops to the active layer become available. And on a pad provides access to actions fit for those objects, such as net or pad stack properties. Expedition's context-sensitive action keys and mouse interaction increase productivity and improve upon the user experience. Optimal efficiency is achieved using the flexible methods of modifying objects and groups of objects.